hi guys welcome back to my channel we have another wig install coming at you um let me just say this because i've realized every time i'm editing a wig video um when i'm filming it and i can see myself in the viewfinder i'm like wow beautiful look so natural less wear less who less what and then i go to sit down and edit and then i'm like guy like you can see the less for sure for sure so i don't know guys this install is looking really natural though so let's just hope that when i sit down to edit it's gonna be looking just as cute so this particular unit is from divas wigs i know that the box is looking quite washed out because of the lighting but um it's actually a closure wig um a closure wig meaning it only has lace like on a certain section so just this part so the package the hair actually came in this um bag so when you get your wig it will come packaged in this bag i actually love divas wigs is one of the companies that i really have always loved their packaging it also came with wig caps i think this is a dark this is i thought it was black i don't use I don't use wig caps at all but when i do i use these lighter ones not these darker ones although this is a dark brown i can see it's not a black but still then it also came with a brush i have so many of these brushes because i've collaborated so many times with divas wigs um what else okay then it also came with this um brochure kind of um just kind of telling you about how to take care of your hair more or less so this particular hair uh -huh, it's actually a glueless unit for me you got you guys are gonna see i didn't put glue but i just put a little bit of gel on some parts of the hair hey there's like a part here sticking out mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. so i just put a bit of um gel um on a few of the parts but i actually didn't use glue and this is a glueless wig it actually comes with the elastic band so that you're able to make it fit your head perfectly it's a 20 inch wig it's indian virgin hair it came with a pre-plugged hairline so i actually didn't need to do any work whatsoever the knots also came bleached um yeah and then the lace this is i believe this is transparent lace i'm actually gonna show you guys the difference between normal regular lace and this lace so that you can see that um <laughs> this is a very realistic looking lace i'm gonna leave the exact link to this hair in the description box down below so make sure you check it out in case you're interested for now let's go ahead and get into the install it was really really easy for me to install this hair although the thing is i had already done a couple of things off camera like i curled the hair off camera i've done that so many times on camera what else did i do yeah more or less that the rest was ju just came as is so let's go ahead and get into it okay guys so first off we're gonna start by discussing this lace i have three types of lace here to show you guys the difference between the three i have fake hd i have regular lace just like kawaida lace that you'll find on most wigs and i have swiss lace so this particular wig i'm reviewing in this video actually has the fake hd lace and you guys can see it's the most realistic it's that first one Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the install it's gonna be really short and sweet so the first thing i'm doing is brushing away the edges um you know just so that they're not in the way you don't want like your own edges to be in the way even if i'm actually not gonna use glue for this particular install Putting on the wig now, as you guys can see, I already did the curls off camera. This wig came with the hairline plucked, so I didn't really need to do much. The only thing I'm gonna do is kind of really make the part flat by using my hot comb because the flatter the part, the more realistic your wig looks. I feel like I see that in every single wig video that I do. I hope you guys are clocking how good that lace looks because it looks so realistic. Whew. Anyways, let's get into the next part, which is to cut off the lace. I prefer to do this without having any product whatsoever on, so I don't glue down the lace first. I like to cut it when I can see what's going on. Okay. 
okay so today i actually put a little bit of gel to kind of like secure the wig i didn't want to use glue because i didn't want the hassle of taking off the wig at the end of the day i do not like sleeping in wigs so i just actually put very little gel it kind of helps the wig to be you know more secure than if it was glueless and the best part is that it's very very easy to take out and obviously it's really gentle on the edges and then i just used um the other end of the rat tail comb just to like really mesh that lace with the gel and then of course there's no such thing as a wig installation without your elastic band and then now i'm going ahead to lay some edges i started off with just like laying a few baby hairs down and then i feel like i, I went overboard <laughs> i went overboard because this hair was already so cute without the edges but you know it still turned out okay i just think that in future when i'm wearing it i won't rock as many baby hairs or any baby hairs at all but for those of you guys who love baby hairs then i guess you're feeling this for me nah, when i i'm watching this back as i edit i'm just like nah, too much too much but anyways we move regardless and that's it imagine the curls were already done so i kind of just finger comb them and that's that for that. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for Diva's Wigs for partnering up with me on this video. Like I said, I'm gonna leave a direct link to this hair in the description box down below. So be sure to follow that link. It'll take you to this exact um, hair. You can also browse their set because I've worked with them a couple of times before, quite a number of times, and I definitely vouch for their units. So yeah. Uh, what else subscribe guys subscribe to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're new or if you just watch without subscribing i don't know um, and give this video a thumbs up thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye